Bay Area Compass. Located at bayareacompass.blogspot.com. Yeah, yeah, we are. Yeah, yeah, we are. Yeah, yeah, we are. What's going on, y'all? Bay Area Compass exclusive interview with Danny Guap, San Francisco's very own. Uh, what's happening? What's, what's happening? What's up, bro? What's happening, everybody, man? What's up, the Barry Compass Voice? Your man, Danny Guap, a.k.a. El Guap, man, out of Frisco. What's going on, everybody? Shit, man. So, uh, just so, uh, some motherfuckers when we get specific with, specific with you is, uh, so, uh, Danny Guap, you from the E, right? Yeah, yeah, you know, from the, from the Excelsior District out of San Francisco, you know, Carter Park, Park Excelsior, area. You know what I mean? So, uh, that's about the, uh, the southeast side of San Francisco. But, you know, we represent the whole city, man. You know, I do this for everybody. Uh-huh. And uh, you just released that video with San Quinn. Yeah, yeah. We just did, um, you know, I did a mixtape. I'm putting a mixtape out right now. All, all Bay Area beats. You know what I mean? Everybody's using the hot radio beats. You go to a show, a couple of cats do the same song. You know what I mean? I always have the idea to put respect out there to the, to the game that came before me. You feel me? So I used wow. all old school area beats that I was riding around to in the neighborhood that I was trapped and then doing whatever I was doing to, you know what I mean? The one that inspired me to keep going and shit. So I used those beats to flip them and I tried to get a lot of the artists involved, at least with, with something to do with the song, you know what I mean? So I did Quinn's Money Out of Women. Oh, uh, actually wow. came, came to the table, it was called, excuse me, and, uh, you know, I got in touch with him and told him I wanted to be a part of the video and he blessed me a lot and did the hook for the, for the video and all the bank. I used his hook with his beat. But then, uh, you know, so I got me and him did the video together, and it's already got like about a month ago, like 1,600 views now. It's pretty, pretty, pretty getting up there, you know. It's getting around. Okay. Yeah, 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 man. We we'll, we'll stop you push that shit. That shit is clean as fuck. All right, all right, all right. And so, uh, it's so shit, but I, you know what? I don't see a lot of cats coming out of there, but, uh, you know, with music shit, man. I mean, can you speak a little bit about it, or? I mean, well, you know what? Uh, actually, we, you know, I mean, a lot, a lot of cats. We've been involved with a lot of cats for a lot of years. You know what I mean? And it's just, it's just the game that inspires me that I was raised with. But you know, we got the, we got the old home John Cisco was doing this thing for a while. You know, what I mean? he still is. You know what I mean? And then, um, you know, maybe that used to fuck with us a lot. You know, a lot of all the all the this cats used to used to fuck with my homeboy Skrill and and Hive and everybody. So we had a lot of connections, with everybody. But you know what I mean? That my old cats was just getting their money and, and speaking the game. So, you know, they inspired me to keep going with it now and have a voice for it. motherfuckers that don't have a voice. You know, I, mean, I can articulate a little bit and connect the dots for everybody that picture of what we going through in the, in the neighborhood. You know what I mean? Uh, the game that I got raised with because I got a lot of both sides of the spectrum. You know what I mean? I was raised with OGs that taught me how to be a man before a hitter. You know what I mean? Right, right. That's dope, man. That, uh, that, that one sample you got on the address, hey, uh, that shit's hard, though, bro. Oh, which one did you say? I didn't hear you, Pam. My bad. Huh? I didn't hear you real quick. What did you say real quick, cuz? I said, uh, that, that sample that you got on that track from that video, that shit is hard as fuck, bro. Right on, bro. I appreciate it. You know what I mean? Quinn blessed me. He, he uh... He, you know, he came down and showed me the love for doing the hook over for me again because that's him on it. So that's why he's like, I got in touch with him again in the video. And then after that, me and him kept doing business. Now he's got me uh, featured on his upcoming album, The Mighty Volume 3, which is coming out in September. Uh, he got me and his partner TV on a, a song about Derby Coke. So we're coming out doing some shit for the city. You know what I mean? That's City Made Clothing. Shout out to the you know, Derby store right down 8th Street. And, you know what I mean? That's right. real. You know what I mean? We, we got to represent cause that's a Frisco clothing right there. That's real Frisco shit right there. You know what I mean? Hell uh, yeah. Hell yeah, bud. So, uh, Danny Guap, man. So what's next for you, bud? As far as... The so right now, I got this... I got this next tape coming out, The Legend of the Making, Volume 1. Uh, it's about to be out probably in September. I'm just getting everything kind of finalized on it, but then I'm working to do a radio hit for KMO, you know, 105.7, one of you guys out here. I'm just really starting to do promote the album, promote the mixtape, you know what I mean? Start doing these shows and everybody can see what's really going on. But uh, you can expect the album coming next year, the beginning of next year, uh, Explore Original Beats album and, you know what I mean, fully laced and everything. Okay. You know, but right now I'm about to put, put, put all the videos for the, uh, you know, I got a couple of videos coming out for the mixtape. I want to call Brand New Whip, Last Foot the Sebo beat with my homie B.I. from uh, Basic Gang, shout out B.I. And I did, uh, you know, I mean, I just try to touch on, I got JT, the bigger figure beats on there, and I got a, you know, I had to do a Mac Dre beat. There can't be an album right. without Barry Legends on there without a Trey beat on there, you know what I mean? So I had to, I had to do that, and I had to do it in something proper, and then, 
you know, I mean, keep the snake free, keep, you know, I mean, we do stuff for a little bit and everybody that touched on me, so you can expect videos for all of those. I got 10 songs and they're all fire, and I got videos coming out for all of them. And then I got the original album coming out in the beginning of the next year, hopefully. Yeah. You know how that shit goes. <laughs> Yeah, well, it looks like you got a lot of big cats on there, man. That's a lot of respect right there. You feel me? You know what I mean? I wanted, you know, I wanted to get features from a lot of like, like real artists, and then I wanted to, you know, from my neighborhood and all that. You know, dudes that inspired me. I got a lot of OGs from my hood. Shout out Big Mad. Shout out, you know, Mr. Swings. You know, a lot of OGs from my hood that you know inspired me. I wanted to put them on there with me. You know what I mean? Yeah. And yeah, so you know, right. I did that, and I like, I got a touch of Queen, and then. And I'm just really trying to uh, network with anybody that's out in the Bay Area hustling. You know what I mean? That's, I don't even want who's hot. I want who's got hustling. You know what I mean? Yeah. Now, um, for the album though, well, for the next bit of shit, so you flipping the old school beats then, right? Or are you just using the original one? Yeah. Yeah, I just, I flipped all also because it's the mixtape and, uh, you know, I mean, I got tired of going to trust. I was doing some other things previously a couple of years ago. And I was getting a little bit of fun when I really don't promote the music too much. I was doing, uh, but I was doing shows and I got tired of everybody. I was going to shows. It was like four or five cats doing the same song. You know what I mean? Everybody did Rack City. Everybody did, you know what I mean? Yeah. Any two chains. So it was like four or five cats doing the same song. I was like, I'm tired of hearing these. Everybody's, you know, you're doing what's hot, trying to get on the radio with the mixtape song. I was like, I'm doing something so you can ride to, something for the, for the neighborhoods. I mean, something that pay, something to show respect to dudes who, who show me some game. So I got dudes from my neighborhood who really gave me the game. And then I got, you know, the music I was riding around to. You know what I mean? I really just trying to have a lot of the artists that did it be a part of it. You know what I mean? I, I couldn't get in touch with a lot of cats. But, you know what I mean? They're going to get the respect they deserve and, and the shots out and, and the ones I did get in touch with, you know what I mean, really appreciate the, the sentiment I was putting out there, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Nah, that's dope, man. I can't wait to hear the whole shit, man. Sounds good. Oh, yeah, no, you got you guys got to hear, you know, I'm going to shoot you guys when I do the, uh, the Cebo beat. I flipped Cebo's, uh, 4.6, man. And I flipped that shit tough. Call it Brand New Whip, my homie B.I. Uh, yeah, I flipped, uh, Cebo's 4.6 beat, something terrible, man. You guys, I'm going to show you that video. I'm going to shoot you guys the exclusive video when I get that one out. So, um, hey, Blood, so make sure you shoot me all them, them tracks or whatever you guys, you know, you want, you need help leaking this shit, Blood, because, you know, I'll get that out there to the world, Blood, because, you know. Oh, uh, yeah, you know, I got, you know, I give you guys the exclusives, and I'll fuck with Barry Compass, man. Y'all put me on with the video when y'all was showing me love with the money out of the women one, so I'm going to really shoot y'all. Uh, the, the one I was talking about, the, uh, the Cebo Beast, going to be a big one. And then me and my, uh, my big cousin, Roger Richter, got a, a song we flipped through downs, um, can you feel me, man? That was really what started my whole wow. mixtape hype with this thing. Cause I flipped Can You Feel Me? Because one of my favorite songs growing up. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just down to the year, you know what I mean? But that Can You yeah. Feel Me? I was feeling that. And we flipped it, and it's called Season 4 Max. So I got my big cousin, Roger Rick, to run it, and another OG partner from my neighborhood, OG Mr. Squings. And then I got my partner, B.I., on it again. Now we touched down, we do a video for that one. That was going to be real fly, too. That one's going to be real, you know what I mean, dressed to impress. Yeah. Fly shit. So I'm gonna give y'all, you know, y'all gonna have the, y'all gonna have the first ones to that off top. Appreciate that, bro. Oh, uh, you know, it's all good. I appreciate what y'all appreciate what y'all do right here in the Bay, man. You know what I mean? Y'all highlighting us underground ones that's, you know what I mean? Trying to hustle and move like everybody else. Yeah, man. For real. Just trying to get that word out, man. Spread that word. Not too many other stops there, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Yeah, it's a dying breed, pimp. You know what I mean? But, uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Shit, you know, I was raised, I was lucky to get raised where I was raised, the other cats that raised me, because, you know what I mean, I got a lot of different sides of the game that a lot of, a lot of cats in the city ain't fortunate enough to have, oh, geez, that's 40 years old, you know what I mean, and, and been done it and changed and been done bitter and been as bad, and a lot of cats that's 28, my age, and oh, geez, in the hood, and, and still trying to figure it out, you know what I mean, so I'm real fortunate to, I was just trying to pass that on, you know what I mean, the, the shit I got, I'm trying to get that back. Yeah, I, I, so, as far as music, though, uh, and out there in the in the E-Mob and all that. I mean, what what are cats out there in Frisco right now feeling right now, blood? You know what I mean? Everybody, you know, we, we all we all different out here in Frisco, man. Everybody got their own thing. You know, we feel Gucci. You know, Gucci the one. So we we feel that real street shit, man. You know, but we still have to party yeah. and have fun. So, you know, it's always this. This is always always doing that thing, man. You know, we still appreciate the big brothers out there. And, you know what I mean? So we still support our very artists, man. We feel, we feel ourselves. It's like everybody else does it because we get the game, you know what I mean? But, Outside, outside the Bay Area, I'm off of sick, you know what I mean? And, you know, I'm feeling all these rich homie Quan and cats from the South, you know, I see JT the bigger figure out there doing his thing with, with, uh, you know what I mean, Birdman and shit, you know what I mean? 
stretch neck yeah. behind the Bay Area. Yeah. That's who inspires me. I mean, I see y'all do the interview with them, man, and I'm yeah. doing the inspirational, cuz, you know what I mean? Yeah, but you know, we, I mean, my New York cats, you know, I still love Michael Paul and the Noriegas, and we still want the OG rappers, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, for real, bro. I still be, I still be knocking that old school shit, man. And, you know, I got my partner Caso out in, uh, out, out in Detroit, you know, I'll be, I'll be fucking with his shit slapped, man, you know what I mean? And then, you know what I mean? I'll be fucking with a couple yeah. cats out in Philly and shit. Hey, bro, what happened to Hobby, bro? I, one thing I remember I did was doing a dig, and all of a sudden I just stopped hearing from dude. From who? From Javi, Picasso. Oh, Picasso, yeah, you know what I mean? Me and him got a, uh, uh, Detroit, right? Me and him got a track coming out. We need him, uh, I put the JT the bigger figure be and put, and put Pimpy Do on it, man, and it's gonna come out real soon, so you expect to hear something from him, man. Real soon. Oh, uh, that's dope. So me and him, yeah, Picasso, me and him got something coming out. I put the game recognized game beat, shout out to Fig, man, cause, you know what I mean, you got the independent guy that we all keep in the to this day, you know what I mean? Hey, for real. Hell yeah. Well, I'm glad I'm glad we finally got us uh, were able to hook up, man. I know we've been kind of playing uh, a little, you know, Facebook messenger here, here and there and shit, man. But uh, you know, yeah, yeah, I appreciate y'all having me on, man. And uh, I mean, I see you guys. You guys are gonna be out there on August second with Two Shorts. I'm out there, me and my homie E Flow. She's just performing, opening up with Jay Style and all that for the Two Shorts Summer Fest. So Tracy, yeah, I might, I might just be out there, bro. Yeah, I'll come out there, man. We're gonna be turning up, doing big. I'm on my cloud, we roll up smoking. You know, we do it, yeah. so it's going to be live, but out there August 2nd in Tracy, and then, you know what I mean, watch out for the mix today, Legend in the Making, coming out, man, in September. It's going to be all free download, yeah. Dab Piff, Hawk Share. Yeah, and what, what's the mixtape called again? It's called Legend in the Making. Okay. Right. So, you know what I mean, that's what's what I'm saying, that's what I'm coming, I'm going to have a long in the game, man, like, I'm, I'm going to kill these cats with the gas I got, but all these cats that have gas, watch. Yeah, I'm just saying, watch, you know what I mean? We got game for sale for days for free, whatever they need. Yeah. I can't, I can't wait, bro. Make sure you got my email on lock, bro. Just shoot that. Oh, yeah, you know, you're going to have a premier copy of it, but I'm, I'm going to shoot that shit directly to you. Okay. You know what I mean? So, uh, you guys going to have a first copy before that shit even hits the, hits the internet, man. Right on, bro. So, um, you got any shout outs right now, Blessed? Right before I end the shit? You know what I mean? I just want to shout out everybody in Frisco, man. Y'all you know I mean doing this with the city. I was raised in the city and touched every different neighborhood, whether we, you know what I mean, cool or not. Y'all you want know, to shout out my whole neighborhood, the whole Excelsior Crocker Park. You know what I mean? Big Matt, Rogels, Mr. Sweeney's, me, Big Ted, fucking Throttle, Seeds, Rail, Scrub D, Lil Nick. You know what I mean? Everybody. Yeah. But anyway, niggas, I'm not even mentioning because, you know, I'm not trying to take up too much time. But everybody in the neighborhood, bud, because they all support me. And they'll help me do what I'm doing. And the reason I can do what I do is because everybody that, you know what I mean, molded and helped mold me. You know what I mean? All Frisco, right. The Fig, shout out John Deal, Quinn. You know what I mean? Busting me right now. Shout out my homies out of state. You know what I mean? My homie E. Ferocious, we got to rock out. And then my number one supporter, you know, my wife. I don't know, you know what I mean? My wife right there. So she knows she's my mom, my biggest one in the back. Because little Nick, right. you know what I mean? Me and him just got in an accident. So big homie, you know, he's about to get bigger right now. He broke his back, but. He's already up walking again because that's that exception shit, you know what I mean? So, yeah. just expect me coming, man. I swear I'm coming this year, bro. Right on, bro. You know we got you. So I appreciate you having me, Tim. Right on, bro. All right. Uh, you are now rocking with the illest. Bay Area Compass. Providing the world with all the best Bay Area music. Yeah, yeah, yeah.